Hi there, Doug Stewart with IT Creations. Today we'll be taking a look at the HPE Cloudline CL3150 Gen 10 server. This is a 1U platform that offers high density NVMe storage and is outfitted with a single AMD Epic 7000 series processor. It has a no nonsense exterior that barely identifies it as a member of the HPE family, but aside from that, it does embody the aesthetic we've come to expect from HPE. Hmm. It's definitely all business. Let's take a look. Well, for one thing, I think we're all familiar with the cloud, where your stupid cat gifts are stored. It's that place where they want to bill you for using digital storage for, say, your iPhone. And then there are the businesses who, well, their entire business is on the cloud. Or it's a cloud application designed to streamline your workflow with easy to use tools. Basically, it's a data center. And this is the type of hardware you'll find there. This is just one piece in a portfolio of servers outfitted by HPE to seamlessly integrate with other third-party vendors. Lots of them. Think Dell, Supermicro, Tyon, and friends. Our CL3150 Gen 10, like HPE's other Cloudline servers, are all focused on reduced cost, ease of maintenance, extreme flexibility, and scalability for large deployments. With fast and resilient storage, plus that AMD Epic processor, this system is perfect for in-memory database applications like big data, high-performance database management, predictive analysis, plus machine learning and deep learning workloads. With only a single AMD processor, you're also gonna save on the cost of this system if software licensing fees are calculated on a per socket model. And I know we all like to save money. Do you want a piece of the cloud? <laughs> I'm not talking that fluffy white stuff. Although that would be cool to have. No, I'm talking about the HPE Cloudline CL3150 Gen 10 storage server. For a limited time, you can save up to $500 off the purchase price of a system listed on our site at $5,000 or more. Just click that link to see pricing. And when you're ready to make a purchase, just mention this video. Like I said, there's not much on the front of the system. Just a single UID LED on that perforated panel. On the back of the system, you'll see two PSUs for redundancy, which in this case are 1600 watts. There's the UID button on the back of the unit, an RJ45 NIC port for access to integrated platform management interface, two USB 3.0 ports, and below that an OCP Open Compute Project mezzanine card that can be swapped out to support other network connection speeds like 10 gigabit ethernet, 25 gigabit ethernet, and 50 gigabit ethernet. If you need a faster network connection, a PCIe NIC card that goes in that slot above can support network connection speeds of up to 100 gigabit ethernet using a card from their new partner, Mellanox. Right below that, there's a VGA port and RJ45 port for a serial console, and finally, the power on button. Positioned towards the back of the server, the single socket supports an AMD Epic 7000 series Gen 1 processor with eight to 32 cores and up to 64 threads. Most of the supported CPUs on the system offer 64 megabytes of L3 cache, except the Epic 7251 with only 32 megabytes of L3 cache. That's the one we have today. Here are a few of the other CPUs supported on the system. Our installed AMD Epic 7251 has eight cores and 16 threads, plus support for up to 128 PCI lanes. By the way, all of the AMD Epic CPUs have 128 PCI lanes, and all Epic processors also have eight memory channels. In this instance, there are eight memory module slots total, conceivably offering up to one terabyte of memory given the specs on the CPU. However, the system specs state it only supports 16, 32, or 64 gigabyte memory modules for a total of 512 gigabytes total. With a single memory module in each memory channel, memory performance is optimized. Both registered and load-reduced DDR4 DIMM modules are supported at speeds of up to 2666 megahertz. DIMMs of different speeds can also be mixed in any order and the system will select a common optimal speed. That means the slowest speed. A bank of eight high-performance fans separates the motherboard, CPU sockets, and memory from the storage section. This chassis has room for up to 22 NVMe drives in a 2x2 stack configuration, creating some impressive storage density while maintaining a 1U form factor. Two more drives, either NVMe or SATA 3, can be installed for a total of 24 drives. Total storage support on the system is listed at 76.8 terabytes using 24 3.2 terabyte NVMe drives. If you go with two SATA 3 instead of NVMe for those last two slots, then you get slightly more storage using 3.84 terabyte drives. All drive cables route directly to the motherboard. If you do choose to install two SATA 3 drives, they will be connected to that HBA RAID controller that we only have a picture of for the hardware RAID, but that's about it. Only one by 16 PCI 3.0 slot can be used to provide either a super fast network connection using a 100 gigabit ethernet Mellanox PCI card with one or two SFP plus ports, or can be used to support an HBA RAID controller. As I said earlier, there's also two dedicated OCP NIC ports on the back with either 10 gigabit ethernet or 25 gigabit ethernet, or one 50 gigabit ethernet port depending on your business needs. And really that RAID controller is only useful if you plan on installing two SATA 3 drives. 
we don't have integrated lights out or ILO on this system. Instead, infrastructure management is handled by an integrated platform management interface, or IPMI, which is an open industry standard interface. ILO is also based off this standard, but this is a more basic version. This management setup is found on many other brands, specifically to ensure compatibility over a wider range of platforms over a network. It provides access to the ASPE 2500 base management controller. The ASPE 2500 also provides integrated graphics for crash card monitor, reporting, system monitoring, and a host of other things, including the ability to restart your system out of band. As part of the CloudLine architecture, the HP CloudLine CL3150 Gen 10 is more of a modular storage component for easy scale out of your existing network. Best of all, with open management tools, it's compliant with other third-party hardware and Intel-based systems that may already be a part of your infrastructure. With super-fast network connections and PCI NVMe drives to take advantage of the capabilities offered by AMD's Epic processor line, this system is perfect for enhanced virtualization and has the flexibility to support LAN and SAN networks. If you're interested in this system, give IT Creations a call. We have this in stock and many others, plus the parts and components to custom configure to your specifications. If you need a little help making that decision, we can advise you there too. To those of you who made it to the end of this video, we really appreciate your support of our channel. If you're new here and like our video, hit that subscribe button, maybe even a like. Till next time, I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.